everybody. How's everybody doing out there? I'm being called to do some theme readings. Wow. Tons of cards coming out here. We have, could it be a dragonfly coming out number eight? Uh, again, this deck is by Colette Barrett Brown. Or excuse me, said it wrong again. Call it, <coughs> call it Baron Reed. And uh, it's Joel Nakamura uh, which, who does these lovely illustrations here. I'll put this a little closer can you, so you can see it. Anybody that's feeling any kind of resonance with this card, I'm going to pull some tarot and some oracle cards for you. Seeing the meaning beyond the illusion of perception, signs from the universe are all around, recognizing the outer world as a living oracle, paying attention to the signs. You know, a lot of times we get in that mirror space where things are being mirrored for our benefit. Okay, and then, of course, we can rise above that, rise above the duality when we start to get a little bit more focused and a little bit more proactive. Someone here has been building on a really solid foundation, and what you're feeling right now is a little bit of overwhelm. Uh, there could be some restrictions. I'm seeing bureaucratic restrictions, but we've got this lover card coming in here. How beautiful is this? We've got this number eight of infinity. Uh, this could be someone actually their own divine feminine and divine masculine kind of maturing and coming back together like a reunification. So, you know, take what resonates for you. Again, remember the illusion of perception, right? Could it be a dragonfly? Pay attention to the signs that are coming in for you, okay? We've got an Ace of Wands. I feel like this has been, yes, divinely delivered to you. We have a King of Swords. And then we have this joyful, joyful tribal thing coming together here. Um, this could be someone from your past. This could be somebody new. I feel like this energy is somewhat familiar to you, though. I do see you trying to be kind of stalwart is the word that I'm getting. Okay. Um, there will be celebrations around this. You're coming in really logical right now, okay? I think this has to do with feeling a little bit overwhelmed, that hangman position. I feel like this is a baseline. Well, if I'm up in all these emotions, I'm going to kind of get really logical, and that's how I'm going to ground myself, right? Let's find out. I've got a different deck here. Let's get some confirmation. I had a card that flipped. I have a king of wands in the reverse, so this is what I'm saying. This is kind of showing me that someone who feels very overwhelmed that is stepping into that logic position in order to kind of escape, okay? And you don't need to do this. This has been divinely given to you, okay? So whatever you need to do to assimilate that stuff and kind of clear it, I do see you edging forward, okay? And it doesn't matter what your pace is. All right. And if this is about a relationship for some of you, that other person will wait or they're not meant for you. OK, like, you know, they need to do their journey, but they also have respect for yours. Um, yeah, I see someone feeling just a little out of sorts, not in their complete confidence. Right. To move forward. Yeah, this is a new beginning for both of you, whatever this looks like. OK, whatever this looks like for you, know that this is a new beginning. So you get those uncomfortable feelings sometimes when you are going about a new beginning. Hold on, I had a card drop. Oh, we just got some kind of validation outside there. Yep. So we have this page of wands and this page of swords showing up again. There's a little bit of fear around this, a little bit of insecurity. OK. So go at your pace. Um, if you're in a relationship, make sure you're you're really talking with each other. Okay, determining what is illusion, what not is what is not illusion here, because I do see this coming into celebrations, possibly birthing a new tribe. You are leaving things behind. Okay, that don't come forward. This is this King of Swords as well, holding those boundaries. Okay. And he's a little bit more firm than the Queen of Swords. Be aware. Wow. There you go. There's the confirmation. Clarity that you need will come when you're ready for it. And it's going to, I feel like there is an actual severing of something here. And then we have this Earth Angel coming in right around it. This is patience. This is doing things at your pace. 
taking your time, this earth angel energy here, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull another card here. Let's ask about, <clears throat> I want to ask about this three. I have a five of pentacles. There could have been some kind of scarcity or scarcity mindset. You could be cutting out an entire tribe of people. You guys are concerned. Um, <laughs> you could be shifting. I see big shifts. Okay, you could have been could have walked away from a community here. Here it is. Judgment and Ten of Pentacles. Well, have no fear, because if that's what you did, you did the exact right thing. Okay? Because there are massive changes and it brings in this Ten of Pentacles for you, which is not only spiritual health and wealth, but financial health and wealth. Okay? I'm going to get an activation card for you. I'm seeing a lot of joy in your future. Um, I think there were some people and places and things that you really needed to purge in order to find peace, which is what came out for you. I am unwavering in the face of fear. I come to my senses and embrace challenge. I am determined and think with gentleness and calm. I find inner silence and become a manifestation of peace. So you are literally walking the peace walk, right? The path to light is the next one out here for you. I make the conscious choice to move toward the light one step at a time. I transform my weaknesses into strengths by mastering my thoughts. I overcome obstacles with positivity and acceptance. I develop my gifts and extend my light to every being unconditionally. This is what I was talking about, like above that duality, getting into that higher self so that you can really see what things are for you. Just because something is a blessing for one person doesn't mean you're going to feel the same way about it, right? Okay, every unique soul light has their own journey and their own path as they grow and heal and evolve, okay? Okay. But we can keep that positivity, we can keep that peace and dispel that fear by knowing that we are going to get the clarity here. And that in itself is something to celebrate, folks. Okay? Remember, you're starting a new beginning, but look what it turns into here. This is beautiful. I hope this has been helpful for you. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Comment and help inspire others in the community. Uh, and take good care of yourselves, okay? Start with yourself first, take good care of others, and as always, be kind out there.